wish that you weren't there. Just close your eyes and think me, and you can be anywhere. I like adventure. I like romance. I love great jokes. I'm a man. Yeah. I've got my computer. Everything all right in here? Yes, Mommy. We're approaching an alien planet. Uncle Pam, Cap Kunka. Me 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 me. Alien planet below. Prepare to land. We've landed. Open the hatch and let's start exploring. Be careful. There's no telling what sort of weird creatures we might meet. Here, looks like a nice planet to me. I'll bet their computers are real primitive. Ah, you! Zorofrots! That's alien for bless you. Thanks. Hmm, what a weird-looking alien creature. I wonder if I could ride him. There, that's not so bad, is it? Well, frogs never did make good cowboys, even on Earth. Take me to your audience! Hey, this is nice! Okay, here comes a space joke. What kind of music does the man in the moon listen to? Give up? <laughs> moon rock! Waka, waka, waka! <laughs> oh, boy, I'm sure glad TV sets aren't like that on Earth. Aren't you? Oh, look! Cute little alien bubble creatures. That's not right, is it? Chickadaw, oh, Dinny, that's Martian for, I'd better check out the closet. Oh, no! bam, tickle, snort, no, no. That's Martian for, help! Quick, there's no time to waste. Move it, move it. What's the matter with you, Gonzo? There's an alien monster in the closet. We've got to get out of here before it gets us. What's all the shouting about? Ah, it's even bigger than I thought. Yay! Space Invader! Hey, look at it! Quick, hide! I've got it! I've got the alien! Gonzo, what are you doing? Hey, that's not an alien, Gonzo! It's Nanny! It is? She tastes like an alien to me! What? Sorry, Nanny. What on earth have you done to yourselves? We're not on Earth, Nanny. We're space creatures. Yeah, we're playing UFO, Nanny. Oh, I see. If you... Zorgo Frats. What did you say, kids? Uh, nothing, Nanny. Well, don't go too far into space. you got to be back on Earth in an hour to go to bed, okay? Okay, okay Nanny. Are you sure she's not an alien? Oh, Gonzo! She sure. Hey, what's that noise? It's coming from outside. Quick, turn out the lights. What is it? Maybe it's a shooting star. Maybe it's a rocket test. Maybe it's a flying street sweeper looking for litter in the trees. What? Never mind. It must be a UFO. Hush, if Gonzo's right, it could be full of little green men from Mars. What's so bad about that? You're little and green and adorable. Sheesh. Hey, it flew away. Let's go tell Nanny we saw a UFO. Oh, uh, she'd never believe us. It probably wasn't a UFO anyway. Mm -hmm. uh, did you guys hear something? Hey, hey! Look out! Hello. Get away! Mama! That's 
that's not your mama animal. It's an invader from another world. Come in. Animal! No! Don't let it in! It's coming after us! Yeah. Run! Want to play? What's he doing, Skeeter? He's trying to eat your truck. He is? Maybe he'll eat one of us next. Sneeze, Gonzo. Here, let's show her a picture of the solar system. Maybe she can point out where she's from. Recognize any of these planets, Irma? Look, she's pointing to Neptune. She comes from a planet called Nap Time? Not uh, Nap Time, Neptune! Oh, I know that. Gosh, what if Irma got left here by mistake and now she doesn't know how to get back home? If you ask me, it's up to us to help her get back home. All we have to do is wish upon a star. Starlight, star bright, the first star I see tonight. I wish I may, I wish I might. Have my sweet little piggy give me a kiss goodnight. Gonzo, you spoiled my wish. Yeah. Oh, she tied my nose. I wonder if that means we're going steady. That's never going to get Irma home. Well, gee, um, maybe we can phone her planet and they'll come pick her up. <laughs> come on, give me some room, you guys. Operator. Yes, I'd like to make a long-distance call to the planet Neptune. Please deposit two million dollars for the first three minutes. Uh, I've got a nickel. I've got a button. Oh. Don't worry, guys. We got the money in our savings account at the First National Piggy Bank. Well, what are you waiting for, Gonzo? Break it open. Forgive me, my sweet. Now that's what I call a kiss. Hurry, you guys. Get those coins into the phone. Hello? Hello? Is this the Irma residence? No, 
Whoa! This is the Yoda residence. You got the wrong number, pal. So much for phoning home. I know. All we have to do is make a giant slingshot and we can snap her back home to Neptune. Scientific? What we need is a computer designed spaceship. But we don't have the stuff to build a spaceship, Scooter. So we'll just tell the computer what stuff we do have. Good idea. This vacuum will make a great rocket engine. One vacuum? And this will make a perfect cockpit. One baby carrot? And we can use my face for a nose cone. And one weirdo. You're doing great, guys. It's coming out just like the computer plans. Get some wire. And some blue. As we know. What to do. Gonna build a rocket to the sky. Wings are toys. It's gonna fly real far. Pack up my flashlight, some tape and headphones too. So we'll know where we are. I'll make some sandwiches, cause spacemen have to eat. I'll bring a parachute on in case I have to leave. I'm Gonzo. So long. Huh? Who knows what we might see? Across the galaxy. Maybe some UFOs. What if they take my own? Oh. Blast off into the sky. What question? Why, I, I, I. Gonna take. I bring back to her home. Down on your honors, she's lost and all alone. I'll bring my cookies to a different the Milky Way. Uh, one more question. Do you think we'll be gone all day? She's ready to fly. All aboard! Prepare to blast off. Wait a minute, we forgot Emma. She's in the toy closet with Animal. I'll get her. Space girl. <laughs> oh, great. Come on, you two. T minus ten and counting. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Wow! Outer space! Shut off the engine! Let's float around! Yippee! This is great! Look at me! I could never do this on Earth! Hey guys, we're coming up on Saturn! We gotta change course quick! Why, Gonzo? To listen to Saturn's rings! We don't have time for this kind of nonsense, Gonzo! We don't? No! We've got more important nonsense to do! Oh. Did you hear that? That planet out there must be Irma's home! Buckle up, guys! We're going in for a landing! Wow! What a 
neat looking planet. It's just like I imagined it. Come on, let's go look around. What a huge computer. I bet it can do anything. Anything? <laughs> I can do a lot more than that. Wow, it talks. Can you tell time? On 8,000 different planets. On your planet, it's close to bedtime. Sorry I asked. Hey, Irma. What's this? A remote-controlled matter transporter? You mean, if I step inside, it can send me anywhere I want to go? Oh, boy! I think I got a wrong number. Wow! A giant bowl of cereal! Uh-oh. Where there's giant bowls of cereal, there's giants! You shouldn't let kids play with it. Isn't this planet wonderful, Kermit? I don't know, Piggy. Everything so technical and scientific kind of makes me wish I was back in a pond sitting on a log. Oh, Kermit. Place isn't so bad after all. Thanks, Irma. <laughs> GP, this is what I imagine Irma's whole planet is really like. You do? Gosh, you really think Irma comes from a swamp, Kermit? Sure. If it's good enough for frogs, it's good enough for aliens. <laughs> I think she wants us to follow her. <laughs> even have a playroom. Shh, you'll hurt Irma's feelings. <laughs> oh, look, there's Irma's mama. Not her mama, her mama. Irma's mama's name is Mama? Stop that, Fuzzy. <laughs> Papa. Hold it, hold it. I'm not your Papa. What do I do? I'm a frog, not a papa. They just want to play, Kermi. They do? Oh, okay. How about a game of hide and seek? Okay, I'll hide first, and then you guys count to ten. One, two, three, four. They'll never find me in here. Lesson number one, never play hide and seek with kids who have built-in radar. Come on, we got to get back before Nanny finds out we're gone. Piggy's right, let's go. So long, Irma. Thanks for letting us visit. We'll miss you. So long. Come see us anytime. Bye-bye. Goodbye, Irma. We're back home. And Irma's safe on her own planet. Um, something tells me we didn't pretend hard enough, you guys. Look. Irma's still here? <laughs> this is awful. We'll never get her home now. What was that? Sounded like a truck. Gosh, I wonder who that is. Oh, no. He's got a cage. Yay! Run! It's an alien catcher coming to get Irma! He 
he's going to take her to a laboratory and do experiments on her just like they do in the movies. We've got to hide her. How about in my drawer? Well, that's what you get for not folding your clothes, Piggy. Don't get personal, Frog. Oh, right. We can hide her in the closet. <laughs> this is getting ridiculous, isn't it? Forget the closet! Quick! Hide her! Quick! Let's give her a better disguise! Good idea! Kids, there's somebody here who'd like to speak with you. There is? This is Mr. Johansson. He's been tracking a little creature all over the neighborhood, and he followed its footprints to your window. He did? We never saw any alien, honest. Oh, Gonzo, shh. Don't worry. I don't want to hurt the little fella. I just want to take him back to the zoo. The zoo? We gotta get Irma out of here. Run, Irma, run. Get out while you can. Don't let them put you in the zoo. Now, now, there's nothing to worry about. I won't hurt him. But we saw a movie, and they showed how you treat aliens from outer space. Yeah, we like Irma. She's our friend. Yeah, I even gave her my baby chicken. We won't let you hurt her. <laughs> First of all, she's not a she. It's a he, and his name is Charlie. Charlie? And Charlie's not an alien. He's a koala bear. He doesn't look like any bear I ever saw. Maybe bears look different on Neptune, Fozzie. And he's not from Neptune. He's from Australia. Australia? Gee, that's even closer to Mars, isn't it? No, Gonzo. Australia is a country on the other side of the Earth. You mean he's from Earth like us? That's right, Scooter. Gee, Irma. I mean, Charlie, I, I guess we'll never see you again, huh? Yeah, we'll miss you. Yeah. Gee, thanks, Charlie. Here, you can have my dearie bobbers. There's nothing to be so sad about. Charlie's staying at the zoo for the next six months. You can come visit him anytime you want. We can? Sure. Here's some free passes for taking such good care of him. Wow, thanks. Bye-bye. See you later. See you at the zoo. Bye-bye. Gee, I guess Irma wasn't an alien after all. Personally, I knew he wasn't an alien all along. Any scientific person knows there's no such thing as... Mr. Johansson is driving. Hey, do you think they have a nice zoo on Neptune? The Muppet Babies will be back again tomorrow morning at 6. But don't go away. Theodore Tugboat and Madeline are next on the Disney Channel. Oh, bye-bye! <coughs> <coughs>